Oh my goodness. Good morning. Good morning, our people. Can we believe it's mm -hmm. the first week of August? Last week was the ending of July, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. It's very, very scary. But we are here. We are here and the work continues. Yep. So as you guys can see, as sister is back from back. <laughs> She has lots of information to give you guys today. And when we tell you guys, on on aga, she will always say on on aga. This is not where we do the fighting. This is uh -oh. just share some of the highlights of the week and the way uh -huh. we should be thinking, guiding our thoughts throughout the week. But underneath, work is going. You know, yeah. my sister here, she does not sleep. If you wake up Nigerian time, she's there. You wake up Afghanistan <laughs> time, she's there. Anytime she, you wake up, she's there doing the work. So at least on the, you know, on the peripheral, on the needs mm -hmm. is going. We cannot forget to thank the Nina's partners. They yes, 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 yes. Your unfailing hell. I don't even have words to describe what you guys are doing for our people. But don't mm -hmm. worry, in due time, you know, you guys will be recognized for your work. You know, yep. the good thing is that this group of men and women, they are not here for recognition. They are mm -hmm. actually here to be with sent down from heaven to do this work. Yep. So that's why you don't see them parading as an emperor, as the one no. that wants to own over you, as the one that wants to command and control you. They are busy, even in the midst of you calling names, disregarding their work, you know, making fun of what they're doing. They're busy doing because it's not even about you. It's about all of us. So yep. welcome to the program as usual. Help us to share, like, uh, follow uh click the button subscription button all these things that we need to do to get this uh information going as usual you know what they are doing and uh, the good news is that our people are getting the message and we are so happy thank god for all the things that he's doing for us and on behalf of our people despite the uh sabotage despite all the things that is being done by some of these social media platforms our people are getting the message and they are asking the right questions. So my name is Gunai Chimsaga and I am here in Houston, Texas. Um, good to see you guys. So let me allow my sister to introduce herself. Thank you so much, Dr. Mona Chisaga. Uh, I really appreciate you. Working with you has been so, like, it's been great because you you know what to do and you work together like most of the time our spirit work together when i say this namuna is already there West says they are there. like so that's why it's so easy even when we don't live in the same state it's as if we stay in the same studio <laughs> mm -hmm. because our minds work together you know they say can two go except they agree so our minds work together and it's easier to do this job so thank you so much our people you're part of the team and that's what we're saying. Information, you need information. When you get informed, when you understand what Nina's is, you see, you work as a team. You'll not be saying, what are they doing? What is Nina doing? Oh, there are not many. It's not a, a social group. It's a movement. <laughs> <laughs> movement of the awoken people. When you wake up, you'll be part of the movement. You don't need to say, oh, uh, no, 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 no. We have moved that level. So I missed you people last week because I had to step in physically to assess the work that is being done on the ground, like my sister said, we are not doing the work on social media because some people think it's on social media. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nina, you're doing something. No. And sometimes it's very annoying when you have some people, the so-called educated people, how to engage one brother last week. But at the time, I said, how, I asked, I said, how does your wife cope with your <laughs> level of stupidity and then the children? How does she manage this? I, I will not be able to. And these people are educated. Say you study the political science. I'm like, I can't deal with you. <laughs> I can't deal with your ignorance. It's just too much. So uh, we, 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 we had to step in, you know, physically on ground to see what is being done concerning our liberation. And then also to boost the morale of the people that are working on the ground. Because when they see that, okay, you're in the U.S., but you have to come in because you know how important this work is. To be on ground, to assess things. It encourages them. That you're not just living in the U.S. and saying do this and do that. No, you are actually able to go through the war, war field and come in and say, okay, what, what's the meeting? What's, go, what's going on? What do we need to do? That's what we expected of our people. Not living in diaspora and sponsoring bloodshed in our land. In mm. South, when we ask you, do you know the people you're giving money? Say, hey, is it ESN? Yeah. What did you do to ensure that your money is getting to the right quarters? You don't throw in money, you call yourself a reverend sister. 
Reverend Father, you throw in money. I say, yes, they are protecting our land. Who? You have not seen videos coming out of where your money went into. Your money went into the hands of criminals killing our people in the name of fighting for liberation. You're seeing the videos. You should, be, you should start feeling guilty already. Anyway, before I go running, so last week my sister spoke extensively on the importance of putting process in place. Being sure of what it is that you're doing so that you can evaluate it and assess it from time to time and say, okay, have we done what we need to do or what else is remaining? Do we need to change plan anywhere? It is so important. You can't overstress the importance of process, strategy. You know whether this thing you're doing, is it still achievable? If it's not achievable, what can we do? What can we put in place of it? Or do we need to add or remove anything? It's that simple. I won't start the show now. <laughs> I'll allow my sister to go. We'll just <laughs> it's opening statement, but it's turning it so like the, the main show the conversation. You missed that last thing, so you're trying to catch up. That makes sense. My right, dear, yeah, please share, help us share, subscribe, invite your friends. This is our work. We are doing it together. Thank you so much. Remain blessed as we move into this show proper. Thank you. Please go ahead, sister. <laughs> right. So I'm sharing. Let me give one more minute to share. Somebody just texted me. They can't find it. So let me make sure I put them on the platforms because people can watch on the platform without showing up on the Facebook since Facebook is not allowing them to assess it. So please help us to share in the different platforms because they are blocking the show as usual. But that is not stopping us. Our people wants to hear from us. And that they, we must help them to get the information across. So once again, give us a few minutes to share and help us to share what we are sharing. And as you come in, just welcome to the program. This is our work. We don't have any emperor we are bowing down to. You, 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 and you will have to do the work. Nobody else is doing it for us. And that is the mistake we made for years because we thought that the Harvard graduates and the Yale graduates and the Oswald graduates, that they were there speaking for us. We did not know when they get there, they will sit down and be drinking tea with the enemies, collecting their own share to keep us down so that we would think something is happening when nothing is happening. So it's only now that the war could be there. So let's do what we need to do, like the Fulanese. Since they were told that the, 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 the land that they live in is their grandfather's estate, these people are busy making sure that they hold on to their grandfather's estate. What do we do? You no, know, we are dancing and praising in the church and dying in the Mediterranean Sea. So finally, 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 somebody is doing the work. So Sister Ufie, we thank you so much. We appreciate you meeting our people and getting their morals up and getting them to do the work that needs to be done. Because with that encouragement, we will definitely go a long way. So just like today, our topic says that the politicians do not have the power to give you the change that you seek. Politicians do not have the power to give you the change that you seek. And we have to emphasize that this, you know, it does not make them a bad person. They may be a, a bad people in other capacity, but in terms of, you know, them being your president, they just, they are not able to give you what you want. You and know. they're irresponsible to some extent, my sister. Very responsible. They are all reliable. They have sold us over and over again. They are not about you. There's a picture that I will show you guys of how Every one of your president that we are met by our colonial terrorists before they can even get into the, that position. So you can see that your country does not belong to you. It's just an enterprise. And they're hiring managers. Your presidents are their managers, or should I call them the directors, the ones that will now go and report to them as to how they are running the company or the enterprise. So the power to make constitution lies in the hand of the constituent components. The power to make constitution lies in the hands of the constituent components. That's why the word constitution, constitution comes from the constituents. And we cannot say this enough. Ninas has explained this over and over again because even the scholars, 
the so-called scholars and the senior advocate, they don't know the difference between, you know, these things that we are talking about. We know that kingdoms come and kingdoms go. Just like in Ag Afghanistan, the fall of Abuja is imminent because we can see them speeding up. They are speeding up the final phase of their conquest and they are not hiding it. So that's why I like this, my brothers. <laughs> this is my semi-brown brother. They are not hiding what they're doing. It's only the people that are hiding the action or the reaction they're supposed to have towards the things that they're experiencing in their environment. They have diligently followed the process laid down by their ancestors. And they are going to get what they want, whether you like it or not, as long as you guys continue this fake life, this uh, I don't care attitude, I'm going to pray it off attitude. Oh, it is not my portion. Or maybe it is even well. Like the real obedient children, these people, these people that are willing, fighting, coming to conquer your land, they have honored the words of their ancestors. To them, it's not a game of chance or miracle. They don't do all of that. Cha, cha, cha. Rather, it has been a long time journey of annoyingly irritating audacity, laced with distraction, intimidation, suppression, and conquest through a well thought out multi dimensional agenda. An agenda that is carried out with utmost great zeal. They don't play precision and synergy. They are working together, even if it's take them 20 years. And that's how everything has worked. You put that process in place. You say, okay, year one, I'm going to do this. Year two, I'm going to do this. And then year 20, this is my final outcome. These people are following the same thing I've been talking to you guys. So I did talk to you guys about last week. We've been talking about it anyway. But we focused on it last week. Importance of having a process in place. More, you know, but I get back, but I get back. Today, the, the actors will come and tell you we need to get Nigeria. The next day, they'll tell you they're promoting Tinubu. You can see that your people are unreliable until we have a solid process in place with, uh, with responsible people, of course, in charge of it. We'll be running in circles. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 17, as he goes for over 20 years, Nina and her affiliates have played wedding songs for the indigenous people. They did not dance. We play funeral songs. They did not mourn. What then is left for these conquered people and their children? What are we going to do if not face our obituaries, right? You guys have even obituary that you're following. And we're about to face our own obituary. So today we're going to talk about the final verdict of the people who we are once referred as the great or the giant of Africa. We know there is nothing giant about us. It was a facade that this our colonial terrorists we are using to deceive us so that we even have song to emulate that giant of Africanism. We are just a monkey and a baboon that can be bought and sold as a merchandise. That's all you are. And they are not relenting. You will see from our first video that even in 2022, these colonial terrorists, because they will come out and tell you, oh, we never colonize Africa. We never, but they are in there causing mayhem, causing mayhem, keeping us poor. And then when you go to their country, they will be the first one to beat you to death in their streets while their brothers and sisters videotape. Black people, you guys are not safe anywhere. Don't think because of Mr. Bamo, we have not occurred to me, the Obasa, one of our brothers said one day that we are just like birds that flies and then somebody will shoot down one, the bird will look back and say, ah, it's not me, let me keep on flying. It will be your turn next. Until we come together to do the right thing as one. Speak with one voice. We will continue to be killed in every Western street and nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. They will come on the media and make noise, gara, 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 and then they will go back and kill another one. You know why? Because the people that are supposed to be in charge are highly irresponsible. Highly irresponsible. Oh, my sister, go ahead before I take off and run to the other side. I will pull up the first video while she speaks. You can say it again, my dear. They're highly irresponsible because it's not like leadership is impossible. I will not lead in 
homes and offices and everything. We're working and doing all that. So it's not impossible. But these people, this group of people, that are highly irresponsible, like my sister has said. And the video I want to show you, see, while we show you some of these videos, you know, like from outside, just for you to understand that what is happening to you is not isolated. The Western world, they have a plan. They keep destabilizing the indigenous peoples. When they try to provide long-lasting local solutions to their problems, these people will come and mess up everything. Why? So that they can steal the resources. So you see the leadership and political, political problems we're having in Africa and Nigeria in particular, like we keep saying, they are being manipulated by external forces. Why? So that they can steal our resources. We try to show you these things so that you understand that what is happening to you and your people is not just an isolated case. My people need Igbo. Don't think it's just about Igbo people. It's for all the indigenous peoples. Wherever you have resources, they will come to your land. Therefore, in solving our problem, we must work together with our neighbors in a way that they too will be comfortable to work with us. They will be able to trust us that, oh, where we are going, we are doing the same, we are going to the same place. And that is why we need to build trust over time. And thank God Nina's has done it for us. Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination. We need alliance. We need trust. We can't continue, oh, Yoruba people are like this. Eh? Ijo people are like this. Eh? Eh, with the other people are like it, it, No, 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 no. All you need to do is, this is my land. I'm an Igbo person. This is my territory. This is my neighbor. This is my neighbor in the north. This is my neighbor in the south. My neighbor in the west. My neighbor in the, in the east. Okay, we form a synergy. And then we build trust. You know why it's important? If your neighbor knows that you're not encroaching in their land, they will work with you. But when you keep spreading word like, oh, Biafra, and your neighbor say, I don't like that. I don't know. Don't come to my land with that word. I don't know what it means. I don't want to be part of it. You say, no, you must be part of it. After all, you're tired, rapper. You must be part of it. After all, you're eating over. No. These things have international um, protocol, you know, standard that you follow. Let's follow it. So today in this video, we're showing you what, hap what is happening in Sudan because of the gold they have. You see, these people don't have any gold mine in their lands. We have the gold mines and resources, but we are the poor one. Why they have gold reserve? Chimo. How can you have gold reserve when you don't have gold mine? <laughs> Me that I have gold mines, I don't have gold. The currency, my currency is even thousand, thousand, thousand compared to your one, one unit. Your currency is stronger than my currency. Why? Because that's where corruption started from. That's where impunity started from. That's where evil started from. So we want to show you, because here we do show and tell. It, it's not us saying it. And you too can find this information. Go out there to Google. Don't use your data to look for uh, Arawa or Yasaba or whatever nonsense that people are doing on there. Educate your mind because your mind is what controls your destiny. The way you think is the way you will become. You think big and think like your thinking is sharp. It's more difficult for anybody to victimize you and make you a fool. So your thought process is very important. And that's why we're here every Saturday trying to educate the minds of our people. You too can join us. Please go ahead, my sister. Over 6,000 miles away in Sudan, a country in the northeast of Africa. Just as his people had successfully toppled one of the longest standing African dictators through peaceful state street protests. Why? Sudan, Sudan is one of the biggest exporters of gold in the, in the world. And, and Russia has been illegally exploiting and smuggling this resource from Sudan, from Sudan for years, manipulating vital government and non-governmental institutions to secure this golden financial pipeline. 
CNN's chief international investigative correspondent, Nima al Bagher and her team traveled to the north of Sudan to show how Russia leverages the Sudanese military government and how it's using front companies to circumvent the circumvent U.S. sanctions to hold on to the gold illegally moving from Sudan's capital of Khartoum to Russia. Deep in Sudan's gold country, miners toil in the searing heat, barely surviving in what should be one of Africa's richest countries, providing gold for a war a continent away. We investigate a force more powerful than Sudan's government controlling its gold. For millennia, Sudan has produced some of the most sought after gold in the world, and Putin's private army the notorious paramilitary group Wagner knows it. Sudan's government is denying Wagner's existence in country, but we're not buying it. And we've come to investigate. Wagner's tentacles stretch right across Africa. We've discovered some of its most notorious operatives are working on Sudan. Yevgeny Prigozhin, the head of Wagner, Mikhail Potokin, Prigozhin's head of Sudan Ops, and Alexander Sergeyevich Kuznetsov, Wagner's key enforcer, previously convicted of kidnap and robbery. Working with this man, Sudanese General Mohammed Hamdan Degalo, aka Hemeti, in a quid pro quo for training and weaponry. We, we travel 200 miles north from the capital Khartoum to, to gold country to, to take a closer look at Wagner's main moneymaker, money artisanal gold. gold. Miners bring rocks they extract here to be processed. 85% of Sudan's gold is produced artisanally. This right here, it may not look like much, this is what's left after the, the rocks that the miners have brought in is milled. Now, they've taken what they can out of it, but this gets sold. And when it's properly processed with someone who has superior technology, you can make 10 times what those miners over there are making. 10 times more money without any of the back-breaking work. <sighs> And, and the, the only foreign, foreign processing plant operational in Sudan is Wagner's Medawi Gold, despite a Sudanese law limiting ownership to locals. Also troubling, Medawi Gold was sanctioned two years ago by the United States for exploiting Sudan's natural resources and spreading their malign influence around the globe. According to the Sudanese government, they officially ceased operations, but they are still here still evading sanctions. We, we verified their location with coordinates provided by Sudanese anti-corruption investigators and, and head there to see for ourselves. As, as we approach, the red flag of the former Soviet, Soviet Union blows in the wind. Increasingly used by Russian nationalists, it brazenly marks the Medawi Gold compound. A Russian tanker sits next to it. We get to the, the entrance and decide to ask a few questions, but not before we turn on our covert cameras. Well, that's convenient. They've just confirmed the Russians are at this location. There's a black pickup approaching. Okay, come on. Guards just confirmed that the Russian manager's in that black pickup and then is on his way to us. A, a Russian, Russian van races to the office, but no one seems to be coming over. Seems, seems the Russian manager has changed his mind. But, but others turn up instead. They claim this plant is Sunni's own and is called Al Solaj. Remember that name, it's important. Al Solaj. We head off the property to do some more filming, but we're followed. Security, security approaches, they, they want us to stop. This, this is public, public ground. ground. This, this is public ground. ground. Why, Why is your barn stopping here? here? Trying, Trying to get us to move on. on. They're, They're taking pictures of us, of our license plates. plates. The, the reason, reason they're, they're so nervous, nervous as Solaj is, is a front for the Russian company, Medawi Gold. Wagner is still operating illegally. A foreign company pretending to be Sunnis to evade US sanctions. We, we obtain their registration, registration documents, documents to prove it. 
The, the document, document on the left is from Meadowy Gold, the, the one on the right as Solich. These dates represent complaints made in employment courts against Meadowy Gold. These ones from Solich are the same. Under, Under Sudanese law, law, when a company's holdings are transferred, so are any judgments against it. Here you can see the judgments against both companies are identical. All they've done is change the name. Wagner hiding in plain sight to avoid U.S. sanctions and keep the financial pipeline flowing back to Moscow. And All right, we're going to stop this video here so that, you know, you got the drift, right? You know that these people are not relenting. They are the one destabilizing Africa. They are the one keeping us in their country to clean their grandmothers behind. They are the ones making sure that our young ones are not staying in the continent. They have devised all kinds of, you know, tactics, strategy to make sure that the wealth that belongs to Africans will never, ever, ever serve the needs of Africans. It's always manipulation going on, manipulation going on. But why is this? Why is it? They are always working in tandem with our people. That's number one. When we talk about people being highly irresponsible, this is where it's coming from. Where are the elders of the land? Can they be the elders of the land? They don't know. Where are the elders that are supposed to stay home so that the goats will not eat the yam in the barn? Where are the elders? Where are the good men and women? Where are the people that are supposed to make sure that we are not being taken advantage of? Is it that we are so dumb that we don't know how to defend ourselves? I know they have left us hungry. At what point are we going to come together as people and speak with one voice and make sure that we get rid of these enemies? They are not relenting. We are the source of their income. We are actually their only source of income. The only thing stopping them from taking over is that they, they, even they are coming up with viruses now to take us out. They have tried the COVID one, it didn't work. Now it's monkey paws. Who knows how many other viruses they're going to introduce in order to end it all. Their greed is insatiable. Their greed is insatiable. But you know what? We are the one aiding and abetting them because we don't have the right leaders. We don't have the right attitude. We don't even care to do anything right. We just want to put it on the head of God. Go Bruna Agar. I book was an issue chinek, yeah, happy one. Vuru useless children on his head and be walking around. We need to take make a U-turn. Serious U-turn, Africans. Serious U-turn. We have to get rid of this compromise, highly irresponsible men and women pretending to be our leaders. And they are everywhere, by the way. They are everywhere. We see them here in African-American communities where they will be the congressmen and women for 25 years and nothing has changed for black people in their neighborhood. Oh, sister, go ahead. Yes, and we are telling our people, using Nigeria as an example, that the only reason these irresponsible leaders are able to do what they do in your land is because of the structure you don't have a structure. You don't even have a constitution that you made by yourself, like in Nigeria. If Nigeria will receive the structure that you ought to receive, where things will be done the right way, because right now the foundation of Nigeria is fraudulent. That country, that entity is not even your own. It's a business empire hmm. of, that belongs to some people. So the first step, in getting good leaders is to ensure that you have a foundation. If you don't have a foundation, no matter how long you talk about good leadership, good governance, it will elude you because you're not like America yet. America mm -hmm. is a country, is a nation. America has a constitution made by the people. Now they amend it. And they were telling you you don't even have a nation. You are trapped. The nation that your forefathers had, that your ancestors have, they stole them and put you together into an entity, an evil entity called Nigeria. The country you think is your own is not your own. It does not belong to you. So you have not even started. And for you to start, you have to follow what we are telling you. 
Abuja, like my sister said at the beginning, is at the verge of being run over. Abuja represents the capital of your Nigeria. But the country, like we said, does not belong to you. That's the capital of the country of whatever business empire that they said. So the people that have been running it want to take it over. And what are you doing as an indigenous person? You're looking for PVC. The Fulani nation, they are building their country. They are building their nation. That's why you're seeing Buhari giving 1.4 billion naira to buy 10 luxury vehicles and the truth. And for Niger Republic. That's why you're seeing Buhari take 30 billion naira to build, to construct roads from the northern Sharia part to Niger Republic. That's why you see them building train connecting their country while they attack your people, the indigenous peoples in northeast, north south, I mean, not east, not west, not central, that's middle belt, now going overflow into the southeast, south, south, southwest. The owners of the land, the people that confiscated your land, are coming to take over. People in Abuja, the politicians are saying, ah, meaning what? We warned you that they're going to come. But what did you do? You closed your ears. You saw the BBC journalist that came out with fake interview. But the first thing you will know that this thing is fake is calling terrorists bandits. These are English words. Go and check what who a bandit is. Terrorism is going on. But BBC is telling you that it's banditry that is going on. Okay, let even take it there. If the BBC journalist who go and interview these terrorists that they nickname bandits. How come the federal government of Nigeria, the full and the federal government of Nigeria, cannot locate them, cannot arrest them, cannot stop them? Why? Because it's part of the plan. It is the building full and nation. But they are taking the resources from your land to do so. Why wouldn't they anyway? Because for the longest time, how many years, the Western world took the resources from your land to build their own land. Mm -hmm. The resources of your land was used to build France. The resources of your land was used to build England, London, America, everywhere. So why won't Fulanis have the audacity to come to take the resources from your land to build their own country since you're so dumb? Have you seen what we're saying? Now, people, we warned you 2014, don't go this route. But you closed your ears, led by your church leaders. Say, go and get your PVC. Your church leaders, Adeboyo, even entertained Buhari in his church. And now he has the audacity to say, I'm not partisan. I can't play politics. Why are these old men, why, why are they so shameless? If you make a mistake and say, oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. But you're playing God that you're infallible. And now you come and say, oh, I don't plot politics. What do you think what you were doing when you were bringing Buhari and Erufai into redemption camp to introduce okay. them to the people? What were you doing, Baba? Baba Adeboye, what, were you, what do you think you were doing? When you were playing all those manipulative games that we saw you with a Sibanjo playing, putting good luck on one side or Sibanjo on the other side, old man, what do you think you were doing? Do you think you're dealing with fools? We are not those fools that you put in your church and tell the cock and bull story because those ones have been brainwashed and there's nothing remaining in there thinking for culty. We are thinking, we are watching because you know what? We are stakeholders of that country that you people that are messing up. We work hard here and we send everything down there to build, to fix. So we have a right to say what we're saying. You cannot continue to mess up the land and think that you are something that you are not. Are we talking about Mbaka? Now you have all gone dumb. You can't talk anymore. But you know what? What you have sown is coming for you. Because Amen. based on the word of God, he said that whatever you sow, you shall reap. You are going to reap it big time. And it's coming. So this past seven years that you people brought Fulani, 
brought Buhari and his cousins, Fulani, to come in full national activities mm. in our land. You cannot change it. What has happened these past seven years, you cannot change it in 20 years under that 1999 constitution because they have taken over all the systems. When Buhari did not happen, you were already doing one step forward, 10 step backwards. Now that Buhari has happened, all the systems have been taken over. All, everything is already set. The Fulanese, like we told you, are in their final phase of conquest. You cannot change this by PVC. You cannot change this by bringing an agent like P2B that they have recruited. Because we told you they recruited in Namdekanu. He has finished his own assignment. He's sitting down somewhere in the lounge in PVC and in a DSS VIP lounge. And we, we told you for two or three years, we, we told you, we warned you people that it was coming. Now you are going with that madness to P2B. Does it even make sense? With one mouth, you say it's Biafra you want. With the other mouth, you say it's PVC you want. Does it even make sense what you're saying? But anyways, we are not surprised because your brain has been damaged. The church damaged your brain. The food you're eating damaged your brain. All these things made it that it's impossible for you to reason. But we're still having few people in the land that can reason. And that the ones we're speaking to this morning. Please do not be carried away. Pay attention to what we're telling you. Because what we make those that are brain dead to wake up is coming. Opana opoko chiri. Opana opoko buru. Sorry for those that don't understand Igbo. There's something called Opoko. It makes a lot of noise before it comes to devour the victims. My people said that anyone that that thing killed, it means that that person was dumb, deaf and dumb. You were not listening because it makes a lot of noise. So the Fulanese have been making lots of noises. They've been making noise. They're not coming in silence. So anything they do to you, it is because you are deaf and you're dumb and you did not pay attention. Please go ahead with the video. Let me make some revelations because some of us also have our own intelligence networks. Okay, okay. We have met with some of the bandits. We have met with some of their high commanders. One or two who have repented. They have sat down with us, not once, not twice. They told us that one of the northern governors is the commander of Boko Haram in Nigeria. Boko Haram and the bandits are one and the same thing. They have a sophisticated network. During this lockdown, their planes were moving up and down as though there was no lockdown. Moving ammunitions, moving logistics, moving money, and different parts of the country. They are already in the south. In the rainforest, they, they told us, us when they were killing, they, they will move to phase two. two. The phase two is they will go into the urban, urban cities, cities, going, going from, from house to house, house killing prominent people. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you hit the nail on the head. If a journalist can go out there to find these uh, terrorists, the government should do better. The Ministry of Education had one that parents should take their words out of the FGC quality due to some of uh, security situation. Now tonight we're looking at what could be the solution in what has become a daring nature and attitude of these terrorists moving closer to the FCT, the nation's counter. I mean, gentlemen, by a former national uh, uh, lawmaker, uh, legislator, Senator Shil Simon. Thank, Thank you, Senator Sir 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 for Sir joining Sir us tonight. Thank, Thank you for having me. It was first the, the <laughs> threat into the northwest region of the country. But after the attack on the Puget Correctional Facility, it does look like there is some kind of gravitation of this terrorist element to the FCC Abuja. Now, for what we saw in Kwali, the, um, uh, the Engagement of the presidential guards brigade and what we have heard as a statement coming from them, 
what are your initial thoughts about where we are at and the world that we are up against? Uh, thank, thank you for you having me. me. Well, well um, to, to every Nigerian, Nigerian that has been following events, events in this, this country, country in the last few years, we all know, know that the states, states that surround Abuja, Niger, Kaduna, and all other part of the state, state and, and by indirect extension, Black State, state are to be infested with banditry and, and terrorism. terrorism. Now, now, you cannot, cannot expect, expect Abuja, Abuja to be an island. island. Uh, and now, Kaduna Abuja Road has been unsafe for many years. years. Uh, the government has proven incapable of addressing that problem. problem. So, so, as, as the, the states, states that surround Abuja are safe, safe so, so also uh, the con Sorry, I don't know if you guys are you guys getting double voice on, on this thing? Please give me a thumbs up. Or if you stop, let me know. Thanks. Touch you of insecurity will naturally uh, be with the people of Abuja. So, so if, if we, we thought, thought that, that we have an island, island of security in the country, country. now the, the truth is upon us. us. That, that gradually, gradually terrorists and bandits are uh, moving to the, the suburbs of Abuja, uh, launching attacks, kidnapping people, and, and not, not only soft targets, targets but, but they are also, also going after security establishment and other practices. This is a clear, clear indication that, that the government, government is losing control. control. But, but I, I think, think it's, it's also important, important that. that we should, we should appreciate, appreciate and recognize the sacrifices made by the members of the armed forces, forces like because, because I believe, believe that, that this program, program is being watched, watched by the widows and officers of policemen, soldiers who have lost their own brave, brave winners. winners. So, so we, we appreciate, appreciate those services, but, but in the general sense, sense as a nation, nation and as a government, government there, there is an evident failure in terms, in terms of, of protecting, protecting this country, country and protecting our people. people. And, and I believe these are some of the issues that, that we are raised and we are used and we are capitalized upon by, by those in the position, position of authority, of authority before 2015 to be where they are today. And, and this, this is where we have found ourselves. ourselves. What, what has started in Zamfara spreads to Kedemiski, Niger, Sokoto, and now it's upon us here in Abuja. So, so if, if we thought that, that this is an oasis of peace, then we, we are, are now in open face uh, with the reality of the situation in Nigeria. And let me ask, ask the question. question. We, we thought, thought at first that it was a war in the North East. East. Suddenly, we, we saw the gravitation towards, towards the North West. West. What, what is it that, that is changing, that is making the stories move south? Is it that they are being bombarded so badly that that place, <laughs> the northeast region where they used to be, is no longer safe for them? What has our institutions done in terms of recruiting informants and using them to source information? If just outside of Nigeria is unsafe for every Nigerian, you ask where is the government? Because as they attacked Kujay prison, they are they launching are attacks, attacks or they are trying to attack, attack the, 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 the law school. We should know that the number of executive into the share or is not very far from them. them. So, so what, what would happen? happen? Will we, we sit down until they launch attacks and, and then we react? For, for how long will our government, government take to take action on all of this? Here? All right, let's stop listening to this nonsense because they are all on Mkurumiri. Hmm? So the, even the stupid uh, brand envelope uh, journal, uh, journalist is not asking, are yeah, you thinking they are bombarded in the forest and now they are running into the township? Wow. He has done well. This is what we're telling you. When we talk about the height of irresponsible, that's the all, oh, I don't even want because now they will say, oh, women are calling Africans name. How, who, who is in charge of this space? I don't know, who is in charge of this space? 
who is the head of the household who is in charge where are the responsible men and women that are sitting down pretending like nothing is happening when our children our children's lives are in danger their future is in danger everything that we can offer as parents to these children are in danger looking at us in the face and we are pretending looking for plastic looking for plastic that is still run by the same criminals we are looking for plastic to defend our children and ourselves mm, i don't want to start crying sister if you go ahead my dear it, it's so heartbreaking because we keep saying that this media personnel they are worse of it all i say they are com bandits combined together because misinformation is very bad imagine there's war coming on the people Mm -hmm. you are there telling them it's banditry it's kidnapping something worse than that is on the people already and you call yourself media personnel listen to the type of questions they ask even babies cannot ask such questions in the face of war the lawyers are there playing ignorance as if nothing is going on the church leaders the so-called social influencers according to maya who says yeah yeah british not celebrities anymore. There's terrorism going on. You are downplaying it and saying it's banditry. And you know what? This thing that is coming, when it comes, everybody will be in it. And it's already here. Terrorists are attacking Nigeria. This is the map that my sister put up of what is happening in Abuja as we speak. We told you that what is happening in Nigeria, it's not banditry. These people are lying to you, just like when people were being killed in Middle Belt, they say it's farmer and uh, headsmen clash. Meanwhile, it was ethnic cleansing, and it's still ethnic cleansing, genocide going on, people being massacred and butchered, even the way that animals cannot be butchered. Yet somebody is saying it's kidnapping and banditry. If they try to deceive you, you too, do you want to deceive yourself? <laughs> This is the map of Abuja, the federal capital territory, capital territory, as they call it, FCT, which is supposed to be the capital of the country you call Nigeria. Now, nations, countries that have sense do not joke with their capital. When they build their capital, they have military surround it because that's a seat of power. If anybody is attacking your country, if they take the seat of power, from there they will start ditching out information, signals, every other thing that they need to do. The seat of power is like the heart of your nation. For those that are not understanding what is going on, when you hear Niger was attacked, when you hear Southern Kaduna, Kavanchan was attacked, train attack in Kaduna, Mina, when you hear Lokoja attack, Nasarawa attack, Look at what is going on. Your capital has been surrounded as we speak. What they are waiting for is when their cousin, Buhari, that is in Aso Rock, takes the key and gives to them. And that's one of the dangers that people, like two years ago, when people started carrying, say, oh, Buhari is dead. What you have is uh, Jibril. Hell! You see, you're reducing what is going on with your own hands. Meanwhile, Buhari is a general that understands warfare. He fought in Biafra war genocide. Mm. So he is there with war strategies, guiding his people with proper war strategy. Somebody, somewhere, is telling my people that he is dead. Are you people seeing what we're saying when we call names? That is not anything personal. There is war going on. An army general is leading his people in war against your people. Trained army general that once conquered your people, killed your people, over 3.5 million dead. In his comeback, he is leading his people in war of ethnic cleansing somebody that is on hard drugs because he has to be on hard drugs to be saying some of the things that that mm -hmm. had up on Maybe he was paid he was yes. giving he was paid but he was also on drugs 
he was paid because when you are paid for you for somebody to pay you to sell your people for you to kill your conscience you have to be on hard drugs so that when you're saying what you're saying your my conscience is not affected so that when your people are dying when youths that we are one time occupied that we are employed working we are told to leave their work leave their businesses and go into the bush without phone for you to be saying such things and you know that they're going to be killed you must be abusing some dangerous hard drugs no matter the amount of money that you are given so as we are saying this general is sitting in Asorok, guiding his people step by step precept upon precept in this war of conquer somebody is telling you that he is dead is that person helping you or killing you mm -hmm. now for those that are saying oh you need to be part of the system in order to change it mm -hmm. that does not include getting PVC. joining the terrorists no that does not include joining the terrorists you have to be part of the system in a different way. Not eating the poison food that your enemy cooked for you. You don't wait for Nigeria to happen to you before you begin to speak out the truth. My dear media personnel, church leaders, social influencers, the Yeye Ye Britis, you don't wait for Nigeria to happen to you because this thing that is looming as it's coming, it's going to affect all of you. See your churches, they will be burnt down. You see those churches that you built with mega money that you stole from the land. Because there's no other thing where else that you get in the land except that the politi in the money. Except that the politicians that stole the money that they would have used to build hospitals, roads, gave you gave the money to you as tight and as to tell you thank you for helping in advertising them when they came. All those times that you bring them to your church and pour olive oil or big granola oil on their head, praying that fake prayer that you pray for them is advert, is marketing. That's what it's called. Let's not make it religious. It's not anything Christianity. It's not anything religious. God is angry with the church in Nigeria. Just know that one. So you will market these criminals to the people. And when they deliver, when you deliver, they will come and thank you with private jet, cars, and, uh, and money, and everything. So those big things that you built selling your people, because it will not say that Ninas did not explain to you of the implications of what you're doing. But you refuse to close your ears. And you deceive us and say that you're a church leader, you're GO, you're GO, mommy GO, you're daddy GO. You deceive us, deceiving the people, not us, because we know that you people are criminals. You're partners with the criminality going on in our land. We are now telling you that these terrorists, when they come, those your churches will be burnt down. You say... You media houses that for the longest time we keep telling people this is what is going on. You don't want to hear because of brown envelope. Then you talk from this side of your mouth to the other side of your mouth. When they arrive, your media houses will be burnt down because they will not be fit. Say, for say. They will not be fit for purpose. They are coming to establish their Islamic caliphate. So they don't need your secular stupid things that you have built. They will be burnt down. Go to Afghanistan and see what is going on if you want to know. So you social influencers that you're naked, you put your trousers by the waist, they give you money because the politicians will give you money to market them. In the course of this show, we're going to show you what money does to these uh, yeah, yeah, British because they talk without sense. One side of their mouth will speak this, then is the highest bidder. The other one will bring another one, they will talk from the other side. We are telling you that when these people come, you will not be able to wear those your earrings. You will not be able to drag your pants by your waist. Under your waist. All of you. Yes, go ahead, my dear. No, up their pants under their waist, not yes. under their waist. All of mm -hmm. you will be under a jab. And all of you will be receiving that type of flogging. You saw the flogging that you were giving that Buhari supporter that they kidnap. Because when the kidnappers come, they don't know who is who. All they want is money. So they will kidnap you and flog mess out of you. We are saying... <laughs> You do not need to wait for Nigeria to happen to you before you begin to use your sense to work. That's what we're saying. However, if you decide to continue to mislead our people, you traditional leaders that are giving you titles, if you continue to mislead our people, 
What is coming is coming and it will not exempt anybody. Nobody will be exempted. You freedom fighter that we are telling you the right thing that you need to think. You think it's about your leader, your messiah. No, when he comes, like some of you that are already dying in Southeast now, we were here as mothers warning you to leave bush. That bush is not what we are doing. In 21st century, the liberation project we are doing is not about being inside the bush. If they use it in 1801, that's not what they use in 21st century. In 21st century, you'll be on the table of dialogue, speaking the English that are speaking, talking with them, using brain to work. That's what you do in 21st century. But you fail to listen. You took um Urumiri and entered inside bush. Who is dying now? Is it me? We and our children, we are safe to the glory of God. Who is dying? You and your children. We warned you mothers. We warned you parents. We cried here. We begged you, say, bring your children out of forest. Forest is not where we are doing the freedom. Even when we have to do security, there is a way it has to be structured and done. Not by taking children and their girlfriend, secondary school children and their girlfriend, and go and build their tent inside the bush for them to be fornicating there and say, uh, you're chasing full and ease. Go ahead. This video now, we're going to show you again because we bring different people, different perspectives, so that it will not be as if it's just two of us talking, so that you will see what is going on and then you judge for yourself whether you are thinking straight and whether you're doing the right thing by running after plastic in a time like this that we are at full-blown war. Go ahead, please. Right, before I share this, guys, I wanted to show you guys uh, the homepage of the U.S. Embassy. I happened to go there this week. And it says, uh, advisory, uh, travel advisory level three, reconsider traveling to Nigeria due to crime, terrorism. And I wonder, this will know what is going on. You guys think it's a joke. Terrorism, civil unrest, kidnapping, and maritime crimes. Some areas have increased. They have all these things. Literally, it's like you're going into a dungeon and they are aware of it. They are alerting people of it that my people on ground are pretending as if nothing is going on. They even use the word terrorism that when you use it, Facebook will block you. Terrorism is going on in Nigeria by the same colonial terrorists. Mm -hmm. We know how they've held us down. We know how they are playing games. We know how they are making us pre or pretend as if nothing is going on. But on their website, they are telling people there is a terrorism going on. But in our ears, we'll be farmers and the, what do they call it? Yeah, the, the farmers clash and then banditry and uh, this kid is stealing and creating. Uh, um, I didn't see where they use the banditry. Yes, <laughs> they use banditry. Mm -hmm. They know what it is. They know what it are is. Are they not the ones training the terrorists? Where did the headman buy, buy AK-47 from? The AK-47 that good luck could not buy when he was the president. He wanted to arm the Nigerian military. They stopped him from doing that. All of a sudden, Fulani headsmen are able to acquire heavy ammunition against the people. We are telling you they know what is going on. The only one that doesn't know what is going on is you that you are running up and down pursuing PVC. You're the only one that doesn't have a clue of what is going on. And you chose that ignorance by yourself because we are here to teach you all the time. Go ahead, please. The more people that they are abducting, for example, when you look at the data for the first three months of this year, bandits are killed around 1,300 people and they abducted 1,000. So they are killing more than they are abducting. And then in the north central, close to Abuja, all the three factions of Boko Haram have now successfully established themselves. And, and this, this is a worrying development. development. And, and the train attack was launched, launched by Boko Haram. We, we now know that the Kujia prison attack was launched by Boko Haram. And, and I, I can, can bet you that, that the two attacks in Abuja yesterday and day before yesterday, or I mean today and today, both of them were launched by Boko Haram and the bandits. And even in the 10 days between 2014 and 2015, Boko Haram has never had a cell erected themselves in the north central or the north uh, west. west. They, they only, uh, I mean, in, in those, those days, days, they were sending bombers from the north east 
to be joined on in Abuja in Kanawa and other places. But what we see today are all of the three factions of Boko Haram having themselves president in Niger, in Nasarawa, in Zambara, now close to Abuja, and this is very worrying, and they are getting deadlier, and we know that they have now put Abuja under siege, and Nigeria has got to wake up and do the, I mean, what we need to do to tackle those, uh, confront these uh, challenges. Before I bring in the conversation around the room, why, why do you think that, that these guys have become so audacious, audacious that they are becoming <laughs> bold and bold by the day, day to the point that they are threatening the number one citizen, the commander in chief of the armed forces, mm -hmm. they are threatening some uh, high, high high placed citizens mm -hmm. and governors, mm -hmm. and they are also threatening to attack the, the, the most fortified part of the country, country the federal capital city. city. Uh, Sean, there are two parts to this answer as to why they are getting more audacious, more lethal, and more sophisticated. The first part of the answer is that they are still able to get all their supplies and to recruit young people. They are able to make a lot of money. Uh, we know that uh, the court day from the uh, I mean, uh, Abuja Kabunen train attack alone, they have so far made at least 900 million naira. No reason that makes 900 million naira in four months in Nigeria. But they make at least those, uh, that amount of money. They are able to bring in their weapons from outside the country, but also take over military weapons and vehicles. They are able to recruit young people to, and radicalize them to continue fighting. And they are able to use the vast forests that has been mismanaged for years. That's one part of the answer. The second part of the answer is that our response has been woefully ineffective. And that's because there is no leadership in the security framework. There is no strategy. You have the Nigerian military watching I mean, in silos from the Nigeria police force. The migration that doesn't work together with the police, the DSSA, they are gathering in jail and report, but nobody is acting on it. And you don't have the kind of leadership the federal government needs to be. And that's why state governors also do things on their own. And unless you have a synergy and coordination, unless you have a coordinated strategy, not only in Nigeria, but also between Nigeria and its neighbors, for example, the uh, Cameroon Chad, you are not going to get on top of this problem. So it is uh, the fact that they continue to do all right, I'll stop this video here. They will never get on top of the problem. It's part of the strategy. You, all, you guys should stop running around in the forest as if you don't know what is going on. It, they will it, never it, get on top of They will probably <laughs> not know. Are you listening to the man? And sometimes when we play this video, please, mm -hmm. what we play is for you to sample opinion and see the people you're trusting, your people that are waiting for to tell you what is going on. He's saying there's no leadership in security. Who is in charge of the leadership of the security of Nigeria? The Fulani nation. Army, Navy, Air Force, everything has been yep. taken over. So you are being sabotaged in order to be killed. And somebody is coming to speak eloquently as if he knows what he's saying. No, you want to get Chad. You want to get Nigeria. These are all member nations of Fulani nation. <laughs> You want to get them to not fight the full nation? Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Yeah. Are you kidding me right now? Mm. Our My people, God. this is why we say you cannot continue to listen to people that do not know their left from their right. These people are called the willing tools. We have seen them before. During Biafran War, the people in the Middle Belt, they were used. They didn't know any better. They were the ones that provided military for Fulani nation. Fulani nation did not start now. They walked. Even Southwest walked with them in ignorance. They did not know. But now, what happened to the Biafran people is happening to everyone. We tried to warn them 50 years ahead of time. They did not pay attention. Just like we are warning you now that what is coming, this is what is coming. You are not paying attention. You think it's my group. My group is doing this. My group is doing that. My group. When the death that is coming comes, you and your group will be swallowed up. Except you step in on the strategy on the table that will set you free. In that strategy, we said that our union agreement has been destroyed. 
that the nation we planned, we thought we wanted to build has been hijacked. As a result, there's no basis for further election. Who are you electing? <laughs> Who do what exactly? Oh. We are saying we need to fix that first. Our foundation went wrong. Somebody is telling you that, oh, security is not doing this. This is the military, Nigerian military that fought in Ekomog. Do you know what we're saying? Nigerian military used to be one of the most powerful ones in entire Africa. All of a sudden, we can't handle ordinary Boko Haram, ordinary terrorists. Yet, can't you see there's more that miss the eye? Mm. He is saying that what you need is PVC. Even with the mouth you used to call Biafra, you call PVC. Alandi Mok Bukwa Ali Wokwogi, with that mouth you're using to mention Biafra and PVC in one mouth. Ali Wokwogi, because you are endangering our people. We are here telling you that this is what is going on. You are deceiving yourself, using our people to do buying and selling. Whether you're a politician, whether you're a church leader, whether you're a fake freedom, freedom, freedom fighter, the land, the land, because of the innocent blood that is being shed in our land, the land will work against you. Nigeria will happen to you. Since you love Nigeria so much, Nigeria will happen to you. Do G.O., Nigeria will happen to you. Mama G.O., Nigeria will happen to you. Your children, Nigeria will happen to them. All your family members, Nigeria will happen to them. This you love Nigeria so much. Oh, one Nigeria, one Nigeria. God bless Nigeria. Nigeria will happen to all of you, one after the other. Since you don't want to listen. Because when it happens, maybe somebody will begin to pay attention. You're busy doing buying and selling and lying to our people because he's benefiting you. You're benefiting from the corruption because when there's no leadership, when there's failure, money will be coming everybody. The people external will be stealing. The people inside will be stealing. Everybody will be stealing because there's no structure to monitor the resources in the land. So you are benefiting. My people say, So, we are saying, we are going to play another one. It is time to begin to ask your politicians practical questions. Practical, direct questions. Sister, it's funny that you're saying this. Last week, one of the things that I talked about is this so-called obituary that they're following. Can we ask them, because he has him and his uh, uh, political, I don't know, Giganauts or whatever mm -hmm. they call themselves. Can they put the process that they have in place to fix this so-called Nigeria? Can we examine it? Can we see it? Can we even request of them? Because you know, for we don't request for anything. Oh, whatever they tell us by mouth is what we go by. Can you tell us exactly how you intend to achieve all these things that you're promising our people? But no. You will just say, I don't wear two watches, I don't wear one watches. That that's not what the issue you're dealing with. People that are intelligent, can you put the process up on the place where we can go and examine this is what you are trying to do? And Lord and behold, listen to your vice president, the so-called God that you guys are following. Listen to the he goats he's bringing as your vice president. Eh? We do, we do, we do, we do, we do. So we do is the name of your new nation now. Yes. We do. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I'll play the video for you guys. Because I know they turn off your lights so that you don't hear what is going on. All you're hearing is the noise that all the mad people and Daranile that ex Urumuri users are shouting on the streets. Hear your vice president, the one that you're going to now translate, or should I say, uh, 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 transport all your hopes and you know uh, aspirations to so that they will come and help you. This is him working for you. Those in Peter will be dirty ticket have a solution to insecurity in Nigeria. We do. And what is that? We do. My answer is that we do. We do. We do. We do. Just take it. Mm -hmm. We do. What solution do you have? We do. We do have the solution. And we do fix it. Nigerians want to know. We, we do, do have the solution. My good friend. Don't yes. see Don't see So that is your answer, my people. That is the process. The new process now is called we do. We do process. Hmm? That's what my people that are suffering, that the criminal enterprise is still using.
to fill their nation. My people are ready to sell their future, their livelihood, the future of their generation to we do. And they're so intelligent, so well-spoken, so argumentative, so even uh, religious. They are well-rounded in every arena, but they cannot ask people for process. The only process that they have right now is we do process. That's it. So we do. This is it. This is this is my people for you in 21st century. They are okay with mediocrity. They are okay with lying. They are okay with forgery. They are okay with fakeness. They are okay with everything that will lead to their demise. They are okay with it. Who did this to us? Like a brother will ask. That your brother went and did an underground work for you guys for 21 years. You guys haven't even, and he has the process in place for you to look at. You go from A to B, B to C, and this is how it's going to end. You refuse to examine it. All you're doing is listening to people that are shaking hands with the same enterprise that had us tied down, stealing our resources, have us going in their country and deciding if we're going to fly to their country from Rwanda. All kinds of stuff is happening to my people and the so-called elite. In the Diego, they are all in Houston buying properties as we speak. They are all over the United States investing as we speak. That you guys were made rich for such a time like this. And you're not using any of that to rescue your people. You made your wealth from the so-called one Nigerian for a time like this. What did you guys do? You flew all over Dubai, everywhere, everywhere, investing everywhere, except investing in your people because you want them to come and worship you when you come and turn on your generator once a month or once in, uh, during the holidays. And then you will be the only one in Houston, only one in Isoch, only one in one Omaha. And you reduce to your people to only one in one. Whereas when you come to America, you drive yourself, you go in the middle of the night to go and pick up your food, go to the airport and do all these things. And you think your people are not deserving of such life? You think with all your richness, now, you think my people are not deserving of such? We have reduced them now to they are okay with we do. We do, we do, we do. Hmm? The other Idu nation is not okay. This one now is we do nation. What are we going to do? We do terrorism. We are ready for our obituaries. That's where we are now. My people, wake up. Wake up. If you are having kids, if you are in that labor room pushing out another human being, you are not allowed to be okay with what we do. You are not. Go ahead, my Put sister. on your thinking cap. My people, that's what we're saying. Put on your thinking cap. Begin to ask the politicians that are promising you heaven on earth. Say how. We have terrorism on the table. Insecurity problems. Serious insecurity. Somebody comes and say, I want to lead you. You say how. Practical text. A, B, C, D. Begin to ask the politicians and their supporters. Those church leaders that are coming to you and telling you support this person, support that person, vote this person, vote this person. Those social influencers, like the one we're about to play for you now, calls himself Jack, uh, Zach Oji or Zacchaeus, short, short people, because the way they are short, that's why their brain is short also. Those traditional lead rulers, fake freedom fighters, playing your lives, playing with your lives while Fulanis are building their nation. They are following their multi-dimensional strategy, and they have been doing that for over 200 years. They've been following it step by step. The Fulani nation is in the final phase of manifesting, and they built it in your presence while you were busy being educated in the Western world. Hey, Shimo. They did not go to your Western world. They divided their jobs, sent few of them to go to Oxford, England, to get the strategies for them. Remain the rest of them co collecting uh, 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 cows and using it to do GPS, to map up the whole land 
and then give it to their different clans. And they have been working on that for years. Why you and your yeah -yeah British, you are dancing, gray, growing white beard without brain inside the head. At this Look, age, looking like chimpanzee in the forest. Chimpanzee, chimpanzee like from the forest, my dear. This old man at this age can still not think. One side of the mouth is saying this, one side of the mouth is saying because of money. Highest bidder. This one give you this. You say Igbo presidency. By the time higher president, uh, higher bidder comes, he will give you this one. No principle, no, no ideology, just personal gains. Nothing that you say consistently, I'm working on this thing, this will lead us to this, this will lead us to this, nothing like that. And they have the audacity to speak for my people. You have the audacity to speak for my people. At the end of all this, I see some people, before they will talk, they'll give them license. License to talk in public. See, people will lose their license to speak for another human being to hear. Go ahead. Let's watch this man that calls himself Zakoji. See the double mount. We're going to play two for you. For you to judge for yourself. Whether these people are the people you will follow and commit your destiny into their hands because they told you one thing or the other. Mm, or because they're on, on uh, movies, playing rich, rich yes. person and all kinds of stuff. I'm telling you, uh -huh. it's scripts that are acting. There's nothing in their brain. They are not intelligent. They are not educated. They are not reasonable. Look at the, what is happening in Hollywood now. Past, <laughs> one pastor will sleep with over 200 women. And nobody's warning the other one and say this is danger. He's sneaking in and sneaking out of what their the only party, What about the politicians that have this, tested this, all of them? Exactly. They, 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 want them to they, test, they are soup. They will test all of them. Hmm? Destroying your home, destroying your life, destroying your destiny, all in the name of you want to buy an expensive car, you want to build a big house. What of your life? What is your life worth? Women, what is your life worth? Why are you allowing these politicians, these fake politicians, fake church leaders, fake uh, freedom fighters to mess up your destiny and the destiny of your children? Why, my people? Why women? Especially because you are the victims. You will always be the victim because if you're not pregnant, you're losing your womb. If you're not losing your womb, you're bleeding for the rest of your entire life. If not, your vagina will be smelling like uh, it's mortuary. You are the one that your stomach will start growing big. You are the one that will suffer all these things. Why are you allowing yourself? Mothers, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this, mothers? It all boils down to having to listen to people, empty vessels like this. Empty vessels. You listen to them and they lead you and your children are astray. When we have people that are making sense, we will not listen to people that are making sense. We will follow people that will make us to be victims, us and our children. Why, my people? Why? Go ahead, my sister. And I want to state that it is only fair and just and in the interest of equity and natural justice that the presidency should be zoned to the southeast. Why? If we must have peace and unity and national cohesion in Nigeria. And I want. Hmm. That's him again, adding his script, because it's all about script to them. It's not about the lives of our people. No. They add the script, script every chance they get. You give them money, they will come and write, speak their script, That's and go away and leave our people vulnerable to believe what they're saying. Because they really think they are for them. After all, their name is Oji, right? Mm -hmm. so you're thinking Oji is for me when Oji is all about his pockets. Pockets. When Oji is all about him being able to come to Houston and go to a party and be looking at women like you've never seen one before. The same Oji. Because, this, because there's no strength of character. No. There's no strength of character. It's all about acting. It's all about Give acting. me money and I'll act for you. No this strength of character. No yeah. principles, no ideologies, nothing. They fell at home, fell everywhere. But they will come and act as your yeah, yeah, British. Yeah. And, we'll follow them. and they will open up, they will even do surgery to expand their mouth. Look at how yes. big his mouth got now. Look at this. Yes. Zach Oji, actor, filmmaker, and vice president of the Ambassadors of Voice for Change. Mm. My support for Ashiwa Jibola Metinibu is both experiential and personal. I have lived in Lagos for over 40 years mm. of my life. Adamano. I have always known this man 
as a chief crusader for the democratic consolidation of our country. Can we, stop? Can we stop? We have just shown our people, you know, double mouth. That's all this is all about. Not for you to listen to any garbage that he's vomiting out of. That is oral cavity that is full of microorganisms that I don't know where they came from. That's not why we're, it's not for you to listen to them any further. It's just for you to understand what we're saying. You cannot follow these people. These people are businessmen. These people are criminals. These people, all they're interested is their personal gain, not your life, not your destiny. We see here at 81, I, I had the conversation of one nurse and the patient. The patient is 81, suffering from cancer. He was afraid to sleep in the night. And the patient did not said, don't worry, I'm here for you. Sleep. You wake up in the morning. I will ensure that you wake up in the morning. At 81, she's making such bold claim and promise. Why? Because she has all sorts of gadgets attached to him. The one that is monitoring oxygen. The one that is monitoring uh, breathing. The one that is monitoring uh, heart. The one that is monitoring everything. Any pim, 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 she will come and then adjust him. If his heart is failing, he will come and give something to the heart to wake up. If the heart even fails, that it goes into a system, a world they will come and pump it and wake it up. But my people at 50 and 60, they will say, thank God for a life well spent. He died. Because in Nigeria, anything can kill you. If you, the road accident does not kill you, kidnappers will kill you. Hmm. If you want a, a, a fire, we burn you. Gas, we burn you inside kitchen. When you want to cook. What will kill you is not far in Nigeria. It's very close by. But you celebrate the death of 39 year old. Why? Why do you think that death will not relocate to your country and live there? People are dying and does not mean anything to you. We tell you that people are coming to kill our people and slaughter them. So far it did not happen to you. You will say, hey, it's not my blood of Jesus. It's not me, blood of Jesus. And you will move and you're following those your foolish church leaders. That I, I said that in a normal circumstance, in a place that is working well, those people cannot even be drivers. Those your geos, they cannot be drivers driving in companies that are functioning very well. They will not qualify them because they have no certificate. Even the little certificate they had, they just memorized the textbook and wrote it. That's all. So they're not able to reason. The only reason they have this large crowd following them is because there's no system and the, the land is collapsing. So everybody is depressed and everybody is looking for where to listen to something that will just keep their soul going. That's why they're able to have you. If we fix that nation, they will not have you fools following them and mm -mm. generating money for them. And they will not even have politicians stealing the wealth of the nation and putting it to their pockets while they drop up and down and answer GOs. Let's listen to our brother because in this show, we don't only come here to point out problems. We point out problems and we tell you this is the way forward. We tell you what to do so that if you are sincere and honest and really say, okay, I want this problem to be solved to the grassroots to, so that we have a long lasting solution we will show you what to do and we will do that always so let's listen to our brothers and see what he said the error is that uh, you know it is in that plan c which takes off from february of 2023 that uh, uh, uh b2b is playing and all the other campaigns that's where they're playing but particularly the, the one that has now attracted this uh Massive, uh, you know, followership of the young people who 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 thought that what we needed was just uh, a good man uh, that will come and a competent man that will come and drive uh, a vehicle that has no engine. But to land it somewhere so that we can, the, the our our thesis, our charge is that uh, if elections happen in 2023 under this constitution and Peter B wins that election. He is not going to touch that constitution. Why do we say so? Look at the people who have been endorsing him and promoting him. Ibrahim Babangida, <laughs> Ulusha Mwabasanjo, mm. uh, Ali Uguso, Hakim Babamed, Angwa Yeah. These five men are the most adamantly opposed to anything that will touch that constitution. We remember that Ibrahim Babangida came out a few years ago when this debate of Russian was uh, building up, to say that uh, 
the question of the, the, the constitutional arrangements is settled. So these are settled issues. And that if anybody insists that uh, those issues which have been settled in the battlefield of Biafra will have to be revisited, that is the constitutional arrangement. If anybody insists that we have to revisit it, that he will be prepared to wear his uniform and go back to the battlefield. He hasn't said anything you know, uh, to depart from that position. That's his position. This constitution must stay. If anybody wants it to change, we will go to war. That's Ibrahim Bangida. We have engaged him from the time he came in 1999. I attended this inauguration in 1999 on account of because it was an overflow from Nadeko. At the time he was coming, we were thinking that we'll go straight to the question of uh, resolving this constitution. I wasted five years on Olusegun Mwabasanjo, trying to get him to solve this problem. He became the biggest opposition to touching that constitution. Rather, he wanted to build Nigeria on that constitution they imposed. And we go back to 1979, we remember that it was Mwabasanjo that presided over the imposition that came in 1979 that was now carried forward in 1999, when he was the one they took from prison to revive that 1979 constitution. And so, Obasanjo has been central to how this constitution has been central to the coming of this constitution, to the sustenance of this constitution, and uh, having engaged him very closely. In fact, when we called the Pronaco uh, uh, conference, he went on national TV to say we were committing treason because we called a meeting of the owners of Nigeria to, to discuss the terms of our union that had gone you know, uh, uh, very bad. And so, Obasanjo is one of those who cannot be counted on the side of those who want something to change in that constitution. If he's promoting Peter B's candidacy, what has Peter B covenanted with them? <laughs> what has Peter B covenanted with uh, a Babangida and an ambassador for them to be marketing him? Mm. What has he covenanted with Hakim Baba Ahmed? We do nation. There have been a number of times we had to mention him as one of those who is luring us on behalf of the caliphate to an election that will give life back to a constitution we have defeated. I don't want to talk about Angwa Blahi and his reckless talks over the years of uh, we are born to rule you. I don't want to talk about Guzo. Everybody knows that, where he stands, with uh, Ibrahim Bangida in the, at the head of the park. And so, if these are the men promoting the candidature of Peter Obi. We allege that Peter Obi has covenanted with them privately as condition for that support that he will not touch that constitution if he won. If that is not the case, he, Peter Obi himself had to come to the public to tell us what it is. To tell us what he is going to do about that constitution because Nobody everything is he's he's saying about economic this, economic that, will not solve the problems we are talking about. Nope. The union of Nigeria defined by this 1999 constitution is no longer a project. You have more than three quarters of the country saying they are no longer interested in the union. The Yoruba on the street, the eastern side is on the street, talking uh, 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 death. The other people are being killed in the middle belt. You don't want to address all of that. You are talking about the economic. What is the meaning of economic, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 I, I don't even know how to call it. Oh, yeah, this, it, it, it sounds like the animal farm Statistics we have been seeing. Peter Bishop also tell us what he went to do in Downing Street the day before he went to Labour Party. Because we know the role of Britain. We also know we have our own sources of knowing what was discussed in all these places, whether it's in Downing Street or in Mina or in Ota. So we are saying with certainty that if Peter B wins. On behalf of the Labour Party, in 2023, the 1999 constitution is intact. He has covenanted with those who are promoting his candidacy that he will not touch it. The My brother, you don't even have to shout. It makes perfect sense. It's a no-brainer. You guys will be running in circles, believing the same criminal entity. They will go and take pictures of themselves, hang out. What do you think they're hanging out? They're worried about you, the poor person selling crayfish in the middle of the road. They're worried about, about you that cannot get your visas or on the time you're supposed to get it to get your business transaction completed. You think you're, you're on their list of things to worry about? Huh? 
And we're telling you that these people are playing games with your lives. They are business partners. They are business partners. They are there to serve their master's beatings. You are not going anywhere, my people. You will be running in circle to world without end. Nothing will change for you. Nothing. Why do you think they are afraid of talking about this constitution that we have been shouting about? Why do you think that BBC will cancel the interview to talk about the constitution? Because they were warned not to even mention it on BBC. But they will come and show you any recreation. Now, nah, yeah. uh, our sister now, Bambo. Now, nah, swap on here. This is a, a, a business degree holder. Now, nah, Hannah, swap on here. And that's okay with you to report. The same people. They are being told what to do. They are stooges. They are there to represent the British enterprise. It's not about you. It was never about you. And we will never, ever, ever be about you. Not until you take down that foundation that gave these wicked, greedy entities power over you, over your life, the life of your children. As you are speaking now, American Embassy uh, appointment line is busy selling appointments. Yes, yes. That's how I went on their website. They are busy. They have blocked all the appointments in Nigeria for yes. the Nigerians. And now, if you want to get an appointment, you have to go and buy it. Yes, nothing less than 200,000 for just a date. They will not even give you the visa. No, they will not give you the visa. You pay them to give you the visa. They will not, if they don't give you, they don't refund you. But they, you for the appointment, just appointment, 200,000. That's why their diplomats want to stay in Nigeria forever because it's where you pack money. It's, it's where you in pack Ghana. money. In we Ghana, come here, we go to school, we come here, we contribute to your economy, we come here, we pay all the exorbitant school fees that you you, you, you ask of us, and then the little process for us to get here, I got so an apple. my mother will sell their lines, our father will sell their lines, you will stand in line for 20 hours, but people are banging here on the, on the borders. People that are not contributing, they are here to collect. They will allow them, in, but when it comes to our people, you have to buy your appointment. You have to be played with and toyed with. I'm going to call the Fox News for these people. And they will deny you three times, four times, 20 times, so that you will continue to generate money for them. That's who you are. That's what you're doing. That's what your life is all about. Hey. We are saying all this can end. If you can understand what we're saying, all we're saying that you should say, come openly and say, Nina's is right. That's all we need. To, even the, whether you understand the proposition or you don't understand it, just say it openly. You church leaders, social influencers, whatever. This is not about, Nina is not an organization. We are not begging you to join an organization. We are begging you to save your life and the life of your children. Save yourself, deliver yourself. Whether you are delivered or not, it doesn't concern me. I'm fine by the grace of God. But you know what? You on the ground will continue to die. And mind you, what we're saying, just say Ninas is right, that you prefer to suspend the election. Not the one that groups are boycotting election by uh, to eat offense, Allah. That is childish and stupid. That's not what we're talking about. We are saying following a strategy. And then collectively, we go into transition in order to fix our faulty foundation and constitutional basis of this union of death that is killing our people. The land is under dispute. And we urgently need to solve this dispute, not PVC. We need a transformational change, not PVC of bringing a man that is a stooge that is already bought over. Criminal PVC, all the politicians, their ticket is to continue to loot while invaders kill you. Listen to our brother that is a way forward. What do you need to do? Listen to instruction. When we, uh, is able to issue fire all the states, all the governors of the South and Middle America, anybody who is not doing exactly the same thing to issue, to, to pass a law, send a bill to your state assembly, get them to pass the bill, sign that bill into law, to issue firearms to those, all of especially the states that have passed anti-open grazing bill into law, 
Uh, by what means are you going to enforce all of that if you do not, uh, you know, uh, give the people who are going to enforce it uh, guns to, uh, you know, the weapons to match the kind of people, the kind of uh, weapons that those who are invading them are carrying? So it is within your reach now. That constitution is dead and defeated. Now, where does 2023 election come in in this uh, discussion? Those who are those who, who that title deed by which these invaders are prevailing, by which that uh, illicit federal government is now the owner of everybody and their assets, holding on to the oil and gas assets of the Niger Delta, holding on to the ports of Lagos and other things, that constitution having been defeated, these people who want to reconquer you are looking for more time. They have to get more time by all means to continue what they are doing to get somewhere. They have not gotten anywhere now. They're just... They are just being stymied. They've been, they've been, they've been stopped by this uh, campaign of uh, organizing those who own the sovereignty. That's why they've not been able to succeed. And so they require more time. And their only hope for getting that more time is to drag us to another election under this constitution we have repudiated, we've defeated. And so for them, if they're able to, if they're able to drag us to that toward that election, even now, getting people to be buying form and waving flag of whose turn it is or whose turn it is not, if they're able to bring us to what, if they're able to, to put us in that tunnel of going to election, they already brought the balance of this, that's the one year to the time that election should be happening next year, to continue their, their onslaught. They are not stopping in the brigand, in the, in the onslaught. They are not stopping in the invasion. They are not stopping in the attempt to conquer us by the invasion. They also have another plan B. In one of the brokers, recent brokers, a lot, we talked about plan A, plan B, and plan C, in which the election is plan C. The election is playing two roles, to keep the South and Middle Belt busy, you know, uh, uh, talking about who will govern, whereas the invasion is continuing. We saw it in the train attack and what they they say the land has to be handed over to them now they become impatient they're feeling the problem and so it is only in dragging us to that pushing us into that tunnel of election and i think it was uh, yesterday that uh, i saw on tv uh what's his name uh, the, the the one uh, chairing uh, i uh, for them uh mahmoud or uh, whatever he's called saying that no matter what the situation is they will go to election that candidate is desperate now to go to election i also saw uh, the national security advisor trying to lend uh, uh, Munguno also, you know, trying to lend his voice to it that it is the duty of all of us uh, to make sure we go to election. Again, we we, we remember uh, Baba Akim Baba Ahmed. These are now the caliphate proprietors of what they are doing. Akim Baba Ahmed was telling us the other time that uh, it is only by all of us joining hands that we can get to election that to ease out the Buhari who doesn't agree with the restructuring. These are all gimmicks. <laughs> the caliphate wants to get more time to continue their conquest. The outcome of the election is already predetermined. They don't, they don't even know how to get there based on what is coming at them from all sides. They didn't anticipate anybody could defeat that constitution. They didn't anticipate anybody could organize the kind of alliance we have now. They didn't anticipate anybody could get to, could get to Washington and push them out from where they used to be. In, the, in you know in the inner inner working of things they are now strangers in that place and so the other side of the coin is that the people who have done all these efforts to defeat that title deed that constitution by which they are bound into nigeria and made slaves there by this caliphate they also have a chance to finally get rid of this uh, enslavement if they if the only task is stopping the joint election as a demonstration of their resolve, as a demonstration of their rejection of that constitution. The international community is waiting for us to do just that. There's no other thing left for between us and our freedom. It is to demonstrate by rejecting the joint election in 2023 that we have repudiated that constitution and we're interested, we are, de we are desirous of we are, we, are, we are now very anxious to recover our sovereignty. If we don't, these people to whom these lands have been promised for helping uh, kill off uh, you know, other people to bring uh, those who came to power in 2015, these people are waiting in your forest 
all the way to Boni, all the way to Badagi, from the from the point they entered in the upper part. They are they, they, they have part, they have uh, you know mapped out all the all the Nigerian lands. The Fulani from Mali, the Fulani from Senegal, they all know where it have been mapped. The people you call Fulani Hesmen are the advanced teams, uh, you know, that came ahead of the others to kill off the owners and become the new owners. And that was why the documentation to make them citizens and to make them indigenous after five years were all being smuggled through the National Assembly of uh, Lawa. And Bajabi Abila is a uh, handmade. And so it is, it is our task now to stop that journey so that that constitution will go down. If you want to research how it will all happen, set for what we call domino two, you see the graphics that the rejection of the constitution is now supported by rejection of election. If that election is taken down, the constitution goes down and the union standing on it goes and we go to transition. Everything we are doing now will end in transition. That's why we put the five points, you know, proposition in that constitutional first major. I would think the summary of it all is that if we if we join, especially the politicians from the South and Middle Belt, across party lines, we're not talking about PDP and APC now. If we join, if the South and the Middle Belt will join in the journey to election, pretending they are going to get a better day tomorrow, they are just lining themselves up for extermination. If the South and Middle Belt join, hmm. This is sad that our people at this point in time will want to participate in an election that does not have any integrity. Election that people are getting PVCs while they live in Niger, Niger, or whatever it's called. Election that we know for sure that people have been brought in and be given national IDs and, and PVCs from the outside and we are okay to participate in the same election. Whether Jesus Christ of Nazareth is running or Peter, his disciple, or John the Baptist is running. You think with all of this, with all of this, that is prudent in your head, in your God-given head, in your I believe in God head, in your it is well head, in it, I'm fighting for the future of my children, that it's okay for me to participate in the election. You see why God will allow you to perish? You see how he will watch you perish and like uh, all these people will say, send you to judgment because you deserve to be judged. You guys are not going anywhere. You will find yourself in the same predicament, if not even worse. Your Naira, 7.20 this Friday. Who knows what will it be? You guys forgot that the same politicians promised you Buhari come, Naira will become $2, 243 Naira. No, he said, came, one. he said $1 he was, to one Naira. That he oh, told look at me. That was, that's what it was when he came. Okay. So you allowed it, you saw it go for a nosedive. Done. You're not asking questions. They bring them on TV. How do you intend to achieve all these things you're promising? We do. We do, we do, we do. And nobody is raising an uproar and saying, oh no, this is Aburuka again. No. Even your so-called celebrities that have been there and done that. Even though you have all these educated fools walking around, nobody is making noise. They are okay because they are benefiting. Their children are studying abroad. They probably have homes all over the places that when it becomes un unstable, when it becomes a, a, into a dire situation, mm, out they go. Out they go. If you, can, if you guys vote, I would say, just go ahead and buy your, you should dig the ground, get it ready to go. So that before they come and kill you, you might even go in there and pour the sand on yourself. Because that's where you're going. The American Embassy website tells you there's a terrorism going on not banditry like they were reporting the news. Terrorism going on. The words that we are not allowed to use, they are using it on their website. There is terrorism going on. They know what is going to happen. They, because of greed and money, greed and money, they will never allow our people to hear the truth. The church leaders are part of their, their partners in this crime. The celebrities are partners. The Otapia Piazza partners, the Indio Guebu, Makwandaiu, 
their partners because they all have access as i'm telling you a lot of them are in houston having a uh, concerts hanoi in town having concerts to make more money they are all part of it you the common man nobody is thinking about you don't get it twisted you and your pvc you guys don't even count they are just giving that to you to distract them to distract you decisions had been made for you. Mm -hmm. As long as you live in that nation or that fake federation or whatever you guys want to call it, the yeah, terrorist country called Nigeria, decisions have been made for you. And it's made of that entity that you refuse to stop. That business that you business, they have made this, the owners of the companies they have made decisions for you. It's not about you, baby. Don't get it twisted. You don't count. You will never count. That's why other people will sit in their household and go and apply for visa. They will give them or deny them, but you will stand in line for 12 hours. You will even buy your appointment dates. Mm -hmm. You will even bring all the required documents. These people are so wicked. You know, before my mom died, they gave her an appointment on the 1st of January. Because their wickedness did not start today. Give a comment on the 1st of January. I emailed them. I said, on the 1st of January, are you guys open on the 1st of January? They replied. I still have it in my email. They said, if she doesn't show up, she will miss her appointment. Then that will sort of be on you guys. My mom got there. They were close. Can you imagine dragging an old woman from the village on the 1st? My poor brother-in-law has to leave his own village, go to my own village, get my mom, bought a ticket to fly to Lagos, rented a hotel for them to stay the Sunday night, only for them to get there on, on the first that day. Nobody was here at the, at the embassy. They've been playing these games. They yep. keep taking money from us, suffering us. Think about the logistics. You have to buy the ticket. My mind, this is a high season. They will charge you arm and leg. You have to now drive this old woman out of the village. You have to now pay for a hotel. You have to now get to the embassy four or five o'clock in the morning to wait for your appointment. Because if you don't get there on time, God knows what will happen. Only for nothing. And they will deny you. For nothing. For nothing. Only Nada. for nothing. Yet you're a third world country. The rich country is stealing from you. They are setting up appointments for you to pay for and block it all the way to July of next year so that you will buy us, you will buy sports. Somebody needs to investigate this criminality going on. But Daga never and asked in English as if they are God. They are eating off of you people. They are leeches. They are leeches. Parasites. Parasites. It's about time we fix our own space and get this criminal enterprise out of our own destiny. And when they're coming, they come in and follow the rules and regulations, just like when we come in here, we follow their rules and regulations. Tap ones, parasites, tap ones out. It's heartbreaking to watch this because we know what to do. We know what to we do. We are not helpless. We are not. We are not helpless. We're just sabotaging ourselves and sabotaging God. Yes. We will see what will work. And now TV is not here. We will lie to ourselves. We will be eloquent about it. It's hard people, and insult people that are working hard, working hard to deliver you. You have the effrontery to insult the person. Meanwhile, you're not contributing to it. You're not bringing any money. The people are using their money to work for your salvation, for your liberation, for your self determination. You still have the audacity to insult them. Why won't you perish? Hmm. For few that are honest and sincere, I want to know where we are on the Nina's project because before all this, your madness of PVC started. We told you that we'll continue to run our campaign. Our campaign of enlightenment and mobilization. Because that's where we are in the face, in the things we are doing. And we are continuing. Now, we told you, don't go with these criminals into their stupid election. This is where we are going. We are suspending. We are asking for the election to be postponed so that we'll fix the land dispute that we are having. Now, you know what is going on? The Fulani nation is about to do that same thing that we told you to do. We told you, don't go into election with them, rather ask for transition and referendum. All this mobilization that you are doing, the noise that you are making, use it and say, we want transition, we want referendum to fix our land and our union. That's what mm. you should do. 
you close your ears. You know what? The enemy is hearing us. So they now want to suspend this election for another reason. You know what the reason? They created insecurity. Went to Kuje, opened the door because there's no prison break. What happened was they opened the door. They have the key. They just opened the door for the operators. They are terrorists and they come and do what they need. These people, their job, the 100 criminal terrorists they brought out of Kuje, their assignment is to create massive insecurity everywhere. Why? So that they can assume emergency powers. When they assume emergency powers, they will suspend the powers of your governors to do anything because it will be like Afghanistan. So we want you to keep yourself with knowledge so that you see what is going on. That is, that is not taking us to the enforcement phase of constitutional force major. For those nitwits that have been lying and laughing and say, oh, what is constitutional force major? What do you do with constitutional force major? <laughs> Especially the so-called lawyers. Those, I don't want to call names. But at the end of all this process, some of you will burn your law certificate because it will not be recognized. Because you can't prove that you're a lawyer if what we're saying does not make sense to you. I'm not a lawyer, but I'm able to follow the process. And you call yourself a lawyer. Some even say they're senior advocates of the zoo called Nigeria. And you are not able to understand the simple process we are putting in place. But we are carrying on with it. So where we are now is the enforcement phase of Consumer First Major. Consumer First Major was done on, on 16 December 2020. How many years now? So where we are, the enforcement. And Autumn, Governor Autumn, is taking the lead. He's taking the lead in that phase. He is paying attention. He's listening because he wants to protect his people. He wants to work for his people. He is paying attention. So the 24 states, state governors, in the Alliance territory, better go and understudy what Autumn did. Because why the dispute is going on? Our people need to be protected. This thing is so simple, it's straightforward. There is dispute going on. Who owns Papa's land? Our land, some invaders are coming to take our land, our resources. And we are talking, negotiating, talking, planning, because we are sleeping. That's why this thing is not taking so long. Because you are sleeping. You are the one opening doors. Why we close door, you open. The door we close, we go and open it. When we say don't go there, you go there. You are the one delaying yourself. Now, why that is going on, they are going to come in to kill you. Owo has been attacked the second time. Yoruba land, after Middle Belt, as they're attacking Middle Belt, Southwest, get ready because they will kill your people. But when they kill your people, it's not because Nina's project is not viable. It's because you fail to listen and you are following people that are doing Mago Mago. The Mago Mago that we finished within Nam the Kanu when he was deceiving my people with Southwest. That's why Yoruba people want to start to do. Today they'll say, ah, we, we give you Yoruba passports. Tomorrow they say Yoruba uh, currency. Tomorrow they'll tell you to sign signature. Then, all those things we have done it before. How many years ago we dropped it? We see it's not working because you can see our people are dying. So <laughs> we, have, we have passed. However, the enemy, the Fulanese are coming in to do what they need to do. Pay attention to what Autumn is doing because that's what we told you to go and compel your governors to begin to do so that you will be protected. After the anti-open grazing bill, you saw he passed it. There's another video where he showed all the details of what he did, how he sent the bill to his state assembly, what they did, how many times they waited, the process. He has been engaging the process because we tell you people that our struggle is not on social media. What we do here is to inform you. There are people on ground going through meetings, educating people that should act. This is one of them. Autumn has been involved in what we are doing, trying to understand. Because this thing is about governors understanding, Governor Soludo, when they start killing your people, don't go and bring a chaplet and ancient and modern and start singing that you use ancient and modern when you were in secondary school. Now you want to sing the song for my people. Better pay attention to what Solu uh, uh, Autumn is doing. All of you Igbo governors in Southeast, pay attention to what this man is doing. After the open anti-open anti grazing bill, there's something to be done because you need to enforce it. You won't just pass the bill and then the Fulanese will respect it. 
if you are still upholding and doing what you're doing and allowing them to come in, they will kill all our people. So all the non-state actors should embrace Nina's consular force measure as their only safe escape route. This is not about, oh, no, we are doing freedom fighting too. My group is doing this. Uh, this is a big de facto. Uh, this one is doing whatever in exile. All those shenanigans, all those things you people are doing is not going to deliver you from what is coming. If you pay attention to what Autumn is saying, first of all, Governor Autumn had to recognize that what is going on is continuation of the jihad. He was not there deceiving himself like, oh, it's politics. You see, he has transformed himself from executive governor to chief security officer of his state. These are legal things that need to be done. These are not things that just come from. If you see how he's dressed, it's a statement he's making. He's recognizing that there is war going on in his land. This is no time for Agbada. You wear today, you wear full and cap. Tomorrow, you fear Aousa cap. This is no time for it. Because under the 1999 constitution, what you are as the governor is chief executive officer. You're not chief security officer. Your chief security officer will have to come from Abuja, which we told you has been taken over and hijacked. So, but because of consumer force major, you are now able as the governor of your state to do some of the things that you couldn't do under the 1999 constitution, but you have to embrace it. You cannot do it outside your, by the side in your garage. You have to engage and engage the whole process, understand it so that you will see where you need to act and function. Governor Autumn had to recognize that what is going on is Islamization. And he came out severally to come and say it. He's not saying it under the table. He came openly to say it. He recognized that he needed to pack on the anti-open brazen bill. He recognized that he needed to involve the stakeholders of his states, not stakeholders of Abuja, stakeholders of his states. He recognized that he was at war against Fulani nationalistic movements. He recognized that the federal, federal government of Nigeria had failed to protect his people. As a result, him being in charge of his state government, he needed to move to provide leadership and protection for his people. He recognized that was his responsibility, that he has been voted to do that. He recognized that he needed to provide security for his people. That's his responsibility. He recognized that Benin State Community Volunteer Law needed to be passed. It's a law. You don't just wake up for something and say, I do a bubago, I do monketa, I do mundiohi. No. He recognized that you have to follow a process. So he passed a law called Benue State Community Volunteer Law that will enable him to arm these people. For what? To protect the people for invaders. Any type of invaders, whether invaders from fake freedom fighters or whatever, the people need to work. And he will provide training for them, both vehicles, both ve motorcycles. There is a structure. He provided a security structure for his state. He also recognized that there are other conventional security agencies in Benue State that they work. Because, you know, in Nigeria military, we still have some of our indigents dead. It's just that their work is being sabotaged. But with the structure he has provided, these people can give information to the structure that Governor Tom has provided under the 19, under the uh, Constitutional Force Major of Ninas. That's why he's able to do these things. All other governors are expected to do the same. See, when everyone is legally armed, tell me how the invaders will come and kill the people. Uh -huh. But you have to be got, you have to be uh, uh, armed legally. It's not something you bring an individual that was a criminal that was before and then they may go and they start kidnapping people exactly and give them money and they start kidnapping use gun and kidnap people and keep people you're making things worse because there will be anarchy you will not know no know, know who is fulani and who is Igbo, who is Hausa, who is this there will be anarchy so it is responsibility of the government and we told these people like when we're in ipob when they say oh we're not working with this position well no i say you cannot bring a new structure there's a structure on ground. We must find a way to work with the structure, not for PVC, but for problem solving. You must work with the structure that is on ground 
already. You legally provide arms for the people. For then you, you provide training for them. You don't just go and bring children, give them urumiri, and give them AK-47. You do not do that. You yeah. provide training for the people. You provide operational guideline for them. This is what you should do. This is what you should not do. This is your limitation. This is where it stops. This is where it stands. He even has special advisor on security matters. And they, I know they all do. But his own is working with his head. Because you know what? In military time, in war time, in other nations, retired military personnel, they come into play role. This guy is inv involving anybody because we have these people. What we are doing is that you have to follow international standard practice. You cannot do things by yourself, enter your kitchen and come out and do something. No, 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 no. And it's even copy and paste. We say it most of the time here. Yeah, this is copy and paste. It's been done other places. Just put your head down to understand what needs to be done. This is not something you scratch your head and say, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. There is a process. Nina is the one giving the line, the light, the process to all the people that are ready to work. It's a local solution for local problems. We, the indigenous peoples, have to take care of our communities and the lives of our people. It is an international standard practice. You don't need Buhari to give you a go ahead. In one of his videos, he will tell you where he is going to apply uh, for something for Buhari. When he's saying that thing, I want you to understand, he's not going to wait for Buhari. He's just doing that as a protocol, just to do protocol. That's it. Whether Buhari approves or does not approve, Autumn is moving ahead because he understands the assignment. He understands what Ninas has been saying. And it's not only him that we'll be trying to explain to. People like Governor Nwike, Ninas will have tried to explain things to him. He knows. Go and hold Governor Nwike. Those of you from River State, you're listening to us. Governor Nwike should know what Ninas is saying. And he should be acting the way Autumn is acting because he should have enough information. The same thing with all your governors, the one that calls himself Professor, Professor Soludo, he knows. Professor Soludo knows the structure. He knows the assignment. Protect our people while we finish up this land dispute because we are not going for Fulani election. We are going for transition. We are going to transit from this mayhem created by Fulani nation. Our people have to fly through Chad now to enter Abuja. Air France have to carry our people through Chad before they get to Abuja. That's how things have fallen. Hmm. Ordinary shower cap is 600 Naira. Ordinary peg to peg cloth is 800 Naira. Who does that? Why wouldn't there be anarchy and, criminal, anarchy and criminality everywhere? The system has fallen. Nigeria has collapsed. We did not collapse Nigeria. Buhari and his cousins did. But why are they collapsing Nigeria so that they will take over and unite the land of Nigerians in Fulani nation? But we are saying that your ignorance or your inactivity or your silence is what is making the Fulani people look at if they are so powerful. They are not that powerful. Dike emehi hoj wepe no abu dike. Omaka geje we play games. What we're saying is that if you, the warrior, refuse to articulate and understand the war instruction, even the weakest person will overrun you and your land. This is a man acting like a warrior. Let's listen to him briefly. There's another video where he has more details. You need to pay attention to what Nina is saying. That's the only way out. Your PVC will not save you. You will die holding the PVC, just like you died at Lake Toll Gate holding Nigerian flag. That's the way you'll be holding PVC, and you will die. And we'll be here to show the video. We'll share it. We promise you. We'll share your video. Go ahead, please. Seat of government in Nigeria is is under siege. Benue said it's under siege. We cannot continue to just uh, play around and allow them to continue. We are equal to the tax. And today we are sending a message that Benue said is ready to confront 
the Fulanese from Niger, from Mali, from Senegal, from Mauritania, from Libya, from Cameroon, who wants to take over Nigeria as their land? Mm -hmm. We are going to stop it. We did it in 2004, and we are going to do it again. Yes, let's, let me find out this from you. You don't have what you call the Venice Livestock Guard, which is to implement the open prison prohibition law. What is the job description of these guards? Uh, we already have that now, and they are implementing it. We have prosecuted and already uh, convicted over 400 Fulani men who have besieged the state. We have impounded over 25,000 heads of cattle. Those who pay fine, they will, will release it to them. And those who did not pay, we were able to auction those cattle. That is what the law says. And so this is another phase of ensuring that we secure our land. We are ready to go with them. I'm ready to go to war with those people who have volunteered. These people are not going to be paid. Those volunteer guards. They are community people who are farmers, who are civil servants, who are traders, who have decided that, look, enough is enough. We cannot continue. We must secure our land. And so I want to assure you that I'm involved. My government is involved. And everybody in Benway State is involved. And that is why you see all the traditional rulers here, all the stakeholders in Benway State, the civil servants are here today. And we are ready to wage war against this evil that is coming against. Mm -mm -mm. A black man following a process. Hmm. Like we said, we know what to do. We just have to do it. These Fulanese are not smarter than you are. The so-called British colonial terrorists, whatever you want to call them, they are not smarter than we are. They don't even know how to comb their hair. They flop, wear this way, flop, wear that way. We thank those doing the work that needs to be done because sometimes it's not even about you anymore. It's about your children. When you have given birth, it's about your children. My daughter will say, I didn't ask you to bring me here. And she's right. You brought her here, so you need to protect her. We have to protect our children. We cannot be playing politics and believing God, believing God. God does not believe in your stupidity. He believes in you doing things that work, doing things that you should be doing. And we thank Governor Autumn, you know, how never have poor here, hey, poor here. But at least he's trying to follow the process. He may come out tomorrow now and say, Buhari chased me down the road and, and I jump into the forest and forgot what I said. But the point of the matter is that they're telling you guys the truth. He knows that this is another final phase for the Fulanese to finish what they are want, wanting to do. So you cannot afford to be complacent and pretend like, hey, I'm mommy here, hey, let me go and get PVC and see if that will chase Fulanese away. No. At this point in time, you should be compelling your governors to do the same thing so that everybody can arm themselves. Let's see how those skinny, skinny giraffe will come and kill a big lion on the floor. That will not be possible. Let's see how they will do that. Because nobody will come and rescue you. The British will sit in their high uh, places, turn down the road or down the streets, be collecting their dividends from their investment in your land. They're not about you. That's why you can see them play with the Afghanistan. I worked in Iqdala for 20 years and never now comes to Oh, they're having a meeting with them now. Hmm? They will create terrorism and turn around and bring counter terrorism. Who is taking mm. you even serious? Who is taking mm. you serious? Mm. Hmm? People, let's do the right thing. It's not that far fetched. PVC is not our solution. We need to I mean, compel our government to go on with the transitional government. It, election will come, but we're not asking you guys not to vote. We will vote. We want people to run the country in the right way, in the right direction. But if we don't have the right foundation, Peter Obi will convenate with uh, Buhari. He will convenate with Babangida. He will eat their rice. They will go to each other's traditional weddings. They will see each other at Dubai Golf Club or Golf Course. 
They will see each other there and they will have five each other and smoke their cigar while you die. Don't you get it? Don't you see that it's not about you? That it's about them? And when they drag you to this election, they are not, you have not given the, the uh, uh, constitution another four years. Once they get that congratulatory message from Britain, they get it from Germany, they get it from the US, you are done. They can shoot you at the bridge while you're waving their flags. Can't you see that now is when you have the power to say, okay, you claim to love us so much, you claim to make a change in our lives. Why don't we start with this foundation, Mr. Obituary? Hmm? Why do we have to die before we get what we want? Why don't we fix this foundation, Mr. Obituary, then you will go and run for the presidency. And rightfully so, you should run. But not before we fix what the foundational issue or fix all the foundational issues that we are having. The house is about to collapse, y'all. And you're willing to go in there and sit. They're telling you, no, 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 I that. He said, let me run into the house and see if we can hold the, hold the walls from the inside. Does it even make sense? It does not, my people. Let's stop sabotaging ourselves and sabotaging God. God, God is good. We don't need to starve ourselves and fast and pray and run into churches and uh, give our daddy geo money and get to live for you. know, he's good. Ordinarily, he's good. He's good, but he's sick and tired of your stupidity. He's sick and tired of your laziness. He's sick and tired of your sabotage. Of you pretending like he's not there, that he's in toilet, constipated. Oh, God, I have all wine. Why buy an again? He's not in the market. He's here saying, one, can you please do the right thing? Can you do the right thing? And they will finish this work. And what is the right thing to do? Embrace Nina's propositions. We are not getting anything from it. We don't want to rule you. We don't want to run you over. We're saying that this is the overall end game to all of our problems. Whether you're in the U.S. fighting with your husband because you guys are living like cats and dogs because of all the problems back home. Whether you're our brother begging money on the streets of Italy, somebody will hear here on, 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 on a live video in 2022. The only reason why you left where your umbilical cord was buried because somebody chased you out of the land. You don't even own the land. My sister will say, who owns the papa's land? It's not even yours. You are living in a company. That's why they can fire and hire you at any point in time. That's why you have to go to the head office, now 10 Downing Road, to go and meet the, the president of the company before you can run the company. Can't you see that it's all about you being an enterprise? Nke Kanjo, that you are running an enterprise with no benefits. At least some people are having mercy on their workers. They will give them air. They will give them break. They will give them vacation. You're not getting anything out of it, but you're there running the freaking company nonstop. Nonstop. Working for people that don't give a damn about you. People that are sabotaging your, your currency. People that are sabotaging your lives. They will take from you, but they will never allow you to take from them. Come on, visa. You have met the criteria you have paid. They will still play games on you. Do you know that Indians will sit in their household and get visa? For mama, I met a lady that had a child. While we are here paying all these big old taxes because we are working like Jackie. This Indian lady that lives in a government apartment that I went to see, her, they gave government apartment. She had her baby with Medicaid. That means that she's getting full stamp. She lives in a government-run apartment. They gave her mom and her husband's mom a visa. I was dumbfounded. Her mom was supposed to come. She said, my mom is going to come and stay for one month, and then my mother-in-law will come and stay for three months. I said, what? On a Medicaid? I thought you're supposed to have all this money before you can invite someone. No. That criteria is only for Africans, for Africans. Young. Yes, for it's Africans. For Africans. They allow people to come through the fences here with no visa. They will bring them and put them in a place that they will leave, put them in government housing and even allow them to go and bring their siblings and their parents. When it comes to you, you will provide your tax, you will provide your head, you will provide your private parts, you provide everything, and if you're unlucky, your mother will die on the road while she's going for an American embassy visa. We've heard of stories. 
where they're sending them back and forth. One mother was going to come and visit her daughter that just gave birth, and she died on the road. Now, now, also, and my people think this is okay. Very demonic. We have to do better. It's not that far fetched. So we want to thank uh, Governor Autumn. Eh? So don't go and sleep and wake up and start re re retracing. We want to thank the stakeholders that held him, you know, accountable until he get, got this work done. Because what is what will be will be. Ninas can only do so Hi. much. Like my sister my said, you're Virginia. oh my goodness. Actual you're the only filmmaker. you're the only one delaying the work. You're the only one delaying your prosperity. You're the only one delaying the change. You, nobody else. You, 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 you. So when you go to bed tonight and decide that you want differently, that you want a better life, that you want a future that your children that can sustain your children, go and review Nina's protocol, ninasvoice.org. We are not here to tell you we do, we do, we do, we do. We're here to tell you that this is how you're supposed to work using the international protocols. They know that you guys will never use it. How many will get used here? They dare to put it out there. And yet, even when your brother has done the work and summarized it for you, they think but you know how to speak English. You have not gotten it. You want someone to come and deceive you. It's like now. I will tell you that I'm running for your uh, uh, presidency. You will see me in the forest with the terrorists and you will still trust me. How demented can you guys be? Peter B is hanging with Buhari. He's getting accolade from Babangida. He's getting accolade from Babang uh, Buhari. And you guys are still trust. What do you think they are eating? They are saying, uh, <laughs> I will box you if you don't leave, if you don't let me change the economy. You think that's what it is? His VP is Fulani from Mauritania. Does, Does that make sense. sense? It doesn't make sense, my dear. I know no. that you guys are hungry. Does that even make sense? Can you all take a deep breath so you can get more oxygen to go into your brain to begin to process this information? Does it even make sense? Hmm? I'm here to rescue you, but you saw me conversing with the same terrorists that have held you hostage since the beginning of Nigeria. Eh? Kida Go ahead, my dear. My dear, this is too much. Anyway, we have taken so long today. As usual, you know, they are blocking and blocking, but we thank those that are watching. Share this news, the good news of Nina's, the good news that is here to fix the foundational problems. We need to stabilize the foundation before we can build on it. Right now, there's nothing to build on. There's nothing to build on. I got no gaping hole, we will sink hole. Something would now take the take the whole foundation in. There's, there won't be nothing for you to fix. Because when your obituaries happens after next year, what is it? It will just be few that is left. Don't give full that kind of power. They're not smarter than you are. We know that have they have sustainably worked on their strategy, but now that we are waking up, we can say, ah, punks, back up. Back off, back off. You're not allowed to do that. Until you tell yourself the truth, you keep thinking the idea of playing on the day, come and knock on your house like the guy was saying and pick you up. Is that what you're waiting for? Ah, anyway, my sister, my closing statement. My dear, we've said it all, um, except to tell our people, Nina's is your escape route. It's too late to gamble with your lives. What is coming can only be stopped by a well thought up thought out strategy that we've been following from step one, two, three, four. You too can be part of it to save your children, deliver your land, and your people. See you next next week. We'll be here next week by the grace of God continuing this education. Why work goes on on the ground. Meanwhile, greetings. Greetings to you people from our people working on the ground. 
what goes thank on. you thank you our people i know we didn't give you guys time to call not that anybody has the uh what is it called the boss to call us <laughs> <laughs> the phone number is there you can always call we do take phone calls after the show which most people call us after the show so if you want to call call that number we just don't want to extend this video to um you know to over way way much over two hours my people we can do this we have done it before all we need to do is to understand the strategy, understand what is what is uh, the problem on the table, and we move. It's not that complicated. We bounce. You know, we can do this. We are not that dumb. These people are not smarter than we are. We just need to kick out the irresponsible people in charge and take over our destinies because they don't care. They have a plan B. What is their plan B? If you want to get a house here, I mean, if you get a house here in America, I think $150,000 $150, or more, you get a green card. Them and their children are already green card, you know. So when he man, fiam, yeah, huh? Happen. Like speaking of that, where is Okura? 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 Where is he? The one that wants to give. After up. praying on near his bed, my dear, he has the disappeared. One. The one that wants to give food. You think he went under under his house now? Is that where he? Under the is? bed now. Yes, he was near the bed praying. Now he's under the bed, I believe. I thought he's here to be a president and fix everything uh, and give people food. Once they eat food, they will be fine. Now he has disappeared. Now he has. That's disappeared. how they all disappear. Even the National Assembly people, after their this stupid protest, over fifty percent of them disappeared. Gave themselves seven weeks vacation. Disappeared because they saw the terrorists were coming. Why didn't you stay? No, they disappeared to their houses in Dubai, in UK, in US, and we are telling you that you are the only ones that will be left. Yes, we want to announce uh, our clubhouse tomorrow. Thank you, um, Mr. Tony Nadi. Nina's Town Hall on Restore Nations Clubhouse. Please check it out. Restore Nations Clubhouse, 7 p.m. Nigerian time tomorrow, Sunday, August 7th, 2022. We will try because as we go closer, final, we two are in our final phase. It's not only Fulani that in their final phase. We are in our final phase to redeem our land. As we go closer in the clubhouse, we will, uh, will provide, we will present uh, uh, by Tony Nadi to our people to get first hand information, the sincere ones. Mpurumiri, don't come. If you know your head is damaged with Mpurumiri, whether Mpurumiri of church, Mpurumiri of fake freedom fighting, all sorts of Mpurumiri, don't come. We don't want stress for Brother Tony. We beg you. Now we want brains that can function. If you know your brain is functioning and you are able to take some brain vitamins that will help your brain to function even more, please come because work is going on. Work is going on. Clubhouse, Restore Nations Clubhouse tomorrow. 7 p.m. Nigerian time. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sister Kui. Thank you to again to our people on ground doing the work. We cannot thank you enough. Our sister Utumba and all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because you're not making noise and all over the social media, people are thinking you're not working. No, they are sisters and our brothers. Okay. They are doing the work. And we're making, you know, we're making a uh, 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 headway. So yes. In yes. due season, you will see everything materialize. The good thing is that we are doing the work. We are not relenting. So, I know on a steady course. And we are not we looking for solution right now. now. <laughs> we are not looking for solution now. What do we do? What do we do? What we will do has already been planned 20 years, and we are following it line by line. And work is going on. You are invited yeah. to, to be part of it. You are invited to be part of it. So, continue to help us to share. You can see that the... They don't want you to get this information. They don't want you to know that terrorism, according to their website now, is not banditry. Their terrorism say their website said terrorism in Nigeria. So we know for sure we need to get out, get these people out of our space so we can begin to build a nation that our children will be proud of. So until next week, our people, you guys stay care, stay safe. But, you know, take care of yourself and each other, right? Because the government is against you doesn't mean you have to be against yourselves. No. If you find a, a way you can make life easier for another person, please do it. Yes. Let's be free giving in our neighborhood. Let's be of love. When you see something, say something, care for each other. Yes. We cannot hate ourselves. I know resources mm -hmm. are limited, but there are certain things we can do to elevate the stress on our people. Yep. 
there are certain things you can do if you're not using anything your children are overgrown or whatever give it look at mama and kechi that has little one and pass it on exactly. if you haven't knew that you bought your children don't like the new go out in the street and seek for somebody that the children don't care more with salt or pepper and they will mm -hmm. eat it mm -hmm. let's help each other as yes. we figure out a way to get out of this situation because this yes. must end as soon as you're doing the work this must end Yes. So thank you. Like I said, take care of yourself until thank we see you. you. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.